Lesson number 30, Listening Comprehension. Part 1, Photo. Number 1, look at the picture marked number 1. A. The woman is apprehensive about signing the lease. B. The couple is due to arrive any minute. C. The man is trying to get out of the building. D. The occupancy rate for this room is 450. Part 2. Question Response. Number 2. Who are the occupants on the second floor? A. They'll take occupancy next week. B. Two lawyers' offices. C. No, we only occupy the first floor. Number 3. Is the building in good condition? A. Yes, the landlord keeps it in good repair. B. Yes, it's near all the bus routes. C. Yes, all the tenants are very nice. Part 3. Short Conversation Numbers 4 through 6 relate to the following conversation. I understand that we may be able to get out of this unfortunate circumstance. Yes, under certain conditions, a clause in your contract may not be valid. I'll pay you whatever it takes to get us out of this legally. I don't want to be subjected to any lawsuit. You don't need to be apprehensive about that. Due to the poorly written clause, you have the option to get out of the contract if you decide to do so by the end of the month. Part 4. Talk. Questions 7 through 9 relate to the following recording. Before you sign a lease on a space for your business, make sure you have chosen the best location. Look for the indicators of a neighborhood that is good for business. Are there other successful businesses occupying spaces nearby? Is there access to public transportation? Is the area attractive to customers and clients? If the conditions don't look right for your business, look into other options. Don't lock yourself into a long-term lease on a space that isn't right for you. Once you have found the best space for your business, then you can look at signing a long-term lease. Rental rates often fluctuate. If you sign a lease for five years, then you are guaranteed a rent you can afford.